this is potentiometer. It contains a long wire. Usually the wire is 10 meter long, but if the wire is divided into 10 segments, it's of length one meter. Uh, each wire is, the wires are connected in series. They are doing end to end with the help of these metal strips, and they are stretched parallel to this meter scale. Uh, to pass current in this potentiometer wire, we connect one end of the wire to a cell called, it's called a driving cell. Next, it is connected to a key to switch on or off. And then to know how much current is flowing, we can connect uh, an ammeter, an ammeter, and then to change the current flowing in this potentiometer wire, we connect a rheostat. This is an experiment to compare EMF of two cells using potentiometer. So this is a potentiometer uh, to pass constant current in this potentiometer. A driving cell is connected to one end of the potentiometer wire. A switch can be connected or key can be connected to this cell. Uh, to know how much current is flowing, we can connect our an ammeter, and then to change the value of current, the ammeter is connected to a real stat. Now to compare, these are the two cells. These are the two cells whose EMF is to be compared cell one and cell two. A positive terminal of both the cells will be connected to this positive terminal of positive terminal of the both cell. It's connected to one end of the potentiometer wire and their negative terminal is connected to, to a two-way key. Uh, the common terminal of two-way key is connected to a galvanometer through this resistance box. And finally, the galvanometer is connected to a job key. Now we close the key so that constant current will pass through in this potentiometer wire. Uh, with the help of this rheostat, the current in this plane in this wire can be changed. Now the current is maintained at 0.044 ampere. Now we insert key and connect one of the cell. Suppose this cell is connected to this circuit now, and we slide the jockey over the potentiometer wire in order to get zero deflection in the galvanometer to get zero deflection in the galvanometer. Here at the length of 785, the deflection is negative.
So here to the right, when you deflect, when you slide it to the right, deflection is negative, and when you slide it to the left, deflection is uh, reading is positive. Sorry, reading is positive. So to the right, reading is negative, and to the left, reading is positive. So, uh, so at this point, it's the length six hundred thirty nine point five. The galvanometer shows zero deflection. Now we connect another cell. We connect another cell by inserting the key. Now again, we find out the non deflection in the same way. So, okay, in the left, there is uh, galvanometer source positive values. And in the right, galvanometer source negative value. So here, at this point, at the length of 88.5 centimeter, galvanometer source non deflection. This is potentiometer. It contains a long wire. Usually the wire is 10 meter long, but if the wire is divided into 10 segments, it's up length one meter. Uh, each wire is, the wires are connected in series. They are joined end to end with the help of these metal strips, and they are stretched parallel to this meter scale. Uh, to pass current in this potentiometer wire, we connect one end of the wire to a cell called, it's called the driving cell. Next, it is connected to a key to switch on or off. And then to know how much current is flowing, we can connect uh, an emitter, an emitter. And then to change the current flowing in this potentiometer wire, we connect a rheostat. Now we choose, okay. Now uh, to determine internal resistance of this cell, we connect positive terminal of this cell to one end of the potentiometer wire. This negative terminal is connected to a galvanometer through this high resistance box. And then the galvanometer is connected to a jockey. And parallel to this cell, we connect a resistance box from where a known resistance can be taken. Now to start, experiment, we first insert the key here so that current will flow in this potentiometer wire. Next, we slide, we adjust this rheostat uh, to a desired value of current. Like I'll slide it to get current of 0.045 ampere. Now, we slide this jockey over this potentiometer wire in order to get zero deflection in the galvanometer. So here, the deflection in the galvanometer is negative. So if you... So in the right side, the deflection in galvanometer is negative. In the left side, the deflection in the galvanometer is positive. 
So you slide, you slide the job key in order to get zero deflection. So the zero deflection is obtained at the length of 869 centimeter. Next, we insert this key here. So next we take out, we'll take out some resistance from this resistance box. And then we'll insert a key here. And then again, we slide this job key over the potentiometer wire to get null deflection, another null deflection. Okay, in the left, the reading in the galvanometer is positive. And when you slide it to the right, the deflection is negative. So here the reading in the galvanometer is negative, but if you slide it to the left, the reading becomes positive. So you slide it to get the deflection zero, reading zero in the galvanometer. So here the zero deflection is obtained at the length of 695 centimeters. 